Okay, we're going to talk about the power of now. Is your happiness always in the future? Most people are always projecting happiness in the future and not happy now. And in fact, no matter what you gain, and I know I've been there where you have everything you could possibly imagine, you're thinking, wait, what else is there? And you're always projecting and trying to get to something else. Are you doing that? I'm going to talk about the power of now and how you can not only shift into that beautiful space, but by doing that, you're creating a much more powerful, abundant, peaceful, awakened future. This is how it works. You know I love science. I'm not an expert, but I'm going to simplify it for you so you can use it today. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through the fears and live an awesome life. You know, isn't it sort of weird? Like, if I just had this tank top on, it would be no big deal, but when, as soon as I get the shoulder out, oh, it's sexy kind of thing. It's just a workout top. All right. <laughs> Uh, why am I here to help you break through fear? It's my mission. I came down here to, came down, down, I don't know what's up, down in the cosmos. Uh, I came here to share a message with you that's so powerful and you can take it or leave it. Uh, I have information, I get information, I'm not a channeler. But this is something that all of you can do, and you're getting it all the time. You're just ignoring it because we're so wrapped up in the density of the world. And we're always projecting what might happen to me, what I want, what I'm not getting, all these things that are never in the moment. So I want to ask you something, because this is so, so important. What are you waiting for? I'm going to ask you what it is you're desiring in the future and what you're not doing now. Because here's what's happening. I do it with my internet marketing. This is really revealing. I have two facets to what I work with people on. As a former investment banker for 25 years, I gave it all up and went into this space. I used technology for good. I reached global audiences. I learned how to communicate and do all this technical stuff so that I could be more powerful. I'm using everything I learned is for the betterment. It's how I use it that counts. And this is what happens in every facet of your life. But it takes action. It takes a decision and action in this moment to create that out here. So a lot of people are like, how did you build your channel and do all this stuff? And you know what my answer is? I made a decision and I acted on it and it didn't happen overnight. I evolved as a person, my teachings evolved, everything along the way, that was the value. It's like, why isn't it, why don't I have a million subscribers overnight? Why? Because I'm not doing cat videos. <laughs> I just, my cat died, he got, he got killed by coyotes. If I could only get a cat and do funny cat videos. No, that's not what I'm here for. So I wanna share this with you because this is so powerful. How I have manifested in my life, and I am a major manifester, well everybody is, I'm a major manifester of the things I desire. Most people are major manifestors of things they don't desire because they're in worry. I'm not going to get, and, and so that's the ego lower frequency. You can't help it. We came into it. We came into a dense planet, but our mission is to raise the frequency. One light being at a time, right? So I'm here to help you do that. So today's lesson is, are you projecting in the future that which you desire because you don't think you have it now? Now, I just did a video called The Power of Being Grateful. It's beyond just saying, oh, I'm thankful, and yeah. no, no, the power is I have, I appreciate this moment, what I have, boom, there's your message to the universe, but you are the universe, it's not actually my message to the universe, it's me shifting, me shifting into that reality, I have, I have, I have, I have, and I always have, I have no barriers between that which I think and what I know exists. 
There's no, oh, can I do this? Am I good enough? And, and you know, wealthy people are bad. And, oh, I'm spiritual. I'm spiritual. I should be broke. No, there's no power in that. Everything's what you do with it. So whether it's technology, we've had this discussion in my comment, technology or money or whatever you think you have this hang up about the limitations, it's all how you're using it. If you're using it for positive high level frequency things, you can experience a different reality than if you used it for bad, like people who've been major manifestors. You know, we're not going to use their names, but you know, Major world wars started with people that were major manifestors trying to get what they wanted, but the results were catastrophic for them and others. We want to go into the higher frequency, and the power of now is going into that frequency now. Most people at, in the moment are not in that frequency. They're striving for it, striving for it. It's not out there. It's here. You already have it. You got it. You're in it. But you're, you're choosing a different thought and a different reality and a different belief. The worry, if you're worrying at all, if you have any stress, whatever, you're not in it. And that happens right at this moment. Now I'm going to give you some examples. Whenever I desire something, I just look at the solution. How can I achieve this from where I am now? So I'm looking at now. What do I do now? to create, to shift into that reality. I know that probability exists, so I must become that person in that other reality, which is not the same person I am here, right? So I have to have different actions, I have to do different things, I have to maybe get different skills, I have to, I don't have a barrier, I don't have any stories behind that. So many people, especially with their jobs and money, have a story that limits them. It's money, do you want it? How do you want to get it? Do you want to do it in an ethical, high-level frequency way? Can you? And, and then when you get the money, not only will you be abundant, you enjoy the material world. It's, it's good. It's an amazing thing. It's beautiful. We are here creating this, right? And you can help other people that way. You're much more powerful in the material world. Right now, we have a monetary system, so use it. All right, that's now. You know, in a few years, that, you know, that's going to change, but we'll have to change it. We can't change it if we are in this space of it, it's evil and whatever. Right now is when you're creating that future. Right now. You're not waiting for it. It's out there. It's right now. Who are you right now? So here's what people do. Here, you know, I know you're so distracted by the sexiness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right now, here's what we're going to do at this moment. I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, <clears throat> so here's what I did last November. This is this is 2020. Uh, we're we're getting toward the end of 2020 here. Last November, uh, well, last like September, October, a friend said, you know, let's do something. Uh, neither of us have family. <laughs> uh, my family's dead, and you know, she's got, you know, she's disjointed from her family, <laughs> and so. I said, well, let's go at Thanksgiving. And we said, let's go to New York and watch the Macy's Day Parade. I've, av I've never seen it live. I always watch it on television. It's a big deal. So I decide I want to do it in person, but we're going to do it first class. So I get online, and I book us this amazing, like, I don't know how many days we were there, uh, vacation in New York. We flew first class. We stayed at a first class hotel. We went to plays and shopping and uh, five st Michelin <laughs> star restaurants and, and we went everywhere. We had this amazing vacation, amazing vacation. Who would guess that that will probably never be available again? This year, we know they can't, probably won't have the Macy's Day Parade the way they have before because they don't want crowds of people because of the, uh, you know, the health issues. Are you missing those moments? Are you holding back because you're projecting, I'll go in the future. I'll save up and go first class in the future. Right? And you say, well, yeah, it's easy for you to say, Landry, you, you know, you can afford to go first class. You know what? Whenever there are times when I'm spending money on things that I'm thinking, wow, well, you know, that's a lot of money, I never have, I've never looked back and said, boy, it's, I'm sorry that I spent that money. If it's something that 
I really want to do, and it's my life. I invest in that. And I've never looked back and said, boy, I wish I had that, you know, 100 bucks or 1,000 bucks or what. I always go, wow, I had a friggin' amazing vacation. But people are holding back and going to do it in the future and saving for the future. And my portfolio, and then they lose their portfolios or their homes or whatever and go, wow, I'm not living my life. I live my life. And I'm always expanding to other areas, and I know so many of you do. And there's disapproval in that sometimes. It's like, oh, they're trying this or they're doing that. What? You've broken out of the matrix. You're going to have to expect that people who aren't living their lives, really living their lives in this moment, are always going to criticize it. Why? I don't know why they criticize it. What? Why do you care what I do? You know, it's my life. But people will do that. So expect it. I don't care what other people think. If you're doing what you feel is right for you, then you have to move forward on it because it's your life and nobody else is going to live it. And there's a reason why those things are in your mind, those desires are in your mind. If you're not acting on them, you're not growing, expanding, learning. So even if you try things and they don't turn out the way you want them to, you're still expanding and growing. You cannot make a mistake. When you make a mistake, right, when you think you're making a mistake, it's because you're not doing anything. You're sitting here waiting for something to happen in that future, and you're not becoming that person that's going to create it in the present moment. I can't tell you how many times I just go and do things that are cray-cray, right? <laughs> You know, I did this 90-mile bike. I, I'm not a biker. I mean, I'm, you know, fit, but, you know, I'm not a biker. You have to train for these things. I, was, I just, I bought a bike a few days earlier with a clips in. Oh, don't ever do that if you're not used to clips. Uh, I, I was pretty bloody. You know, you can't get out of the clips, you know, when you're pedaling. Like, something, I couldn't get out of the clips quick enough. And, like, I'd go over and I'd get all bloody and stuff. I look at that, I look at that whole race and I'm like, that was so much fun. I'll never do it again, but I'm living my life. And I look at all the things that I tried that, you know, at the time maybe challenged me, but that's living your life. And it's like, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go after things that seem impossible. And sure enough, nine times out of a 10, I get it. Did you know I was a professional cheerleader, uh, NBA? National B uh, Basketball Association. I tried out with you know a couple thousand girls. I can't even do a backflip. They didn't want somebody who did a backflip, and so I got the position. And, and it was like you know it was one in a million shot for me in a way. I applied for a position on Capitol Hill to be an intern, and I have writing skills as you guys know. I have a best-selling award-winning book. I have a television movie. That's another thing I went after. It's like I didn't see the barriers. I'm going after it now because that's something I want to achieve. It has to happen now. So I applied for this position. They said it's closed. You should have applied months ago. I said I didn't know about it months ago. I was at Gal in college at the time, University of Michigan, and so I got this call one day, and I said I'm going to apply anyways. Nobody's going to hold me back because I know they're all probabilities. And if I desire that and I don't see a barrier to it, it's possible it could happen. Sure enough, I get a phone call. They said, you know, if you can be here, I don't think, like in a week, you got the position because our Harvard student, his position in someplace else opened that he preferred, he gave up this position. It's now open. And if you come here, it's yours. I took it. I drove my little butt down to D.C., and I, I was writing on Capitol Hill, and I was an intern. It was amazing. Yeah. And, and so the other thing was like, OK, you know, I you know, could really use some money. I happened to be one of the few paid interns on there. Problem solved. The universe is you creating the situations, but you can't have barriers there. That's why I say break through the fear. Break through it. I got the fear, but I know I can do this. But it has to happen now, in this present moment. So in the present moment, I'm like, OK, I'm going to put the application in no matter what. I'm not projecting, like, uh, oh, maybe a miracle will happen. No, I'm creating the miracle. I'm doing the miracle. I'm shifting into the miracle. we got to break through these barriers. If you guys want to take breakthrough fear, you can go down in the link or go to landyraga.com and check the courses out. I'm going to show you how to break through these barriers. They're going to be there because we're in a collective that has fear in it. 
So you're always going to experience it. It's like, I'm going to experience the sun. I'm going to experience, you know, whatever's going on out there. It's how I react to it, what I do with it in this present moment. Now, if you're saying the world's going to do this or is that going to happen or whatever, you're wasting valuable present time and you're actually projecting it. You're creating it for you, not me. Because what's going to happen for me? I'm projecting an amazing uh, future by what I'm doing now and how I think about it. And guess what? I'm shifting into a different frequency where that exists. And I will be in that reality. In fact, we're going to be in a world that, for me, is transforming into something amazing. The New Earth. Uh, the New Earth Workshop, Shifting the New Earth Workshop, coming out here. Uh, if it's not out by the time you see this, it will be out shortly. If you haven't take, uh, taken the Shift into the New Earth Masterclass, I suggest you take that first so you understand how you shift into that space. And the workshop helps you move past all these self-imposed barriers. What am I thinking about this? How are those thoughts creating? You know, I'm not separate from that. How can I get past thinking I'm separate and the fear and all those things? It takes practice. But why are you, why are you limiting yourself? You're creating that. You're shifting into that. So this present moment and everything you think is creating that. It's not something out there that you're worrying about it because it exists and that's what's going to happen. It's going to exist because you think it does. So if you think the world's going to, you know what, in a handbasket, it will for you. You're going to be in that lower density old earth. This moment counts. And if you are struggling at all with a negative thought, uh, fear of any kind, this moment is creating your future. You're worried about losing money or health or all these, what might happen to the economy. We go through this constantly. I'm a former investment banker. Oh, my God. You know, like big whoop. What's new? Eventually, we're going to start to make changes so that we rectify these, this roller coaster we're on that causes so much, you know, uh, ang uh, let's just say pain for us. It makes no sense. The systems don't work the way they're set up, right? So we're going to have to remedy this and it's okay. No struggle. So I'm asking you right now, what are you feeling right now? What are you thinking right now? That's your future. So this present moment, if you're always on the present moment, it doesn't mean you can't imagine the future. I always see the future, but I'm seeing the future in the present moment. So if your future that you imagine in this present moment is a negative one, there you go. Yes, you're doing it. You're creating it. What are you creating at this moment? What are you doing right now? Do you see possibilities? Do you see opportunities? Do you see the, the things that are going on as part of our evolution into something amazing and different? It's shaking up how things were. What, oh, it, we're, it's, the world's changing. Yeah, yay! Finally, you know, we can't keep going the way we were. It doesn't work. People are miserable. They're dying. They're getting sick. The what we eat, what we do, everything is, it counts. It all must change. We have to open up our eyes to what's going on out there and be the change, not complaining about it. Talking about it is creating it. It's focusing more on that, being the change for that future where animals are respected and never abused, where we don't we practically don't even need to eat anymore at some point, where we're not doing anything destructive to our planet or most of all to one another. That person, that person that you fear is you. It's another aspect of you and when you stop fearing that, the barriers come down and we become one community and they will experience that feeling, that energy that you're sending them. It is an aspect of you, everything is. And you alone get to create your own reality. We all get to choose in that. So there is no one truth except for the one is pure light and love unconditionally. And everything else is a creation of our play, our adventure, our journey. Enjoy it. Do amazing things with it. Break through the fear, my friend. You are whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Please subscribe. My subscribers are going back up again. Yay! I don't know what that was.
Let's not talk about it. If you get a video that has a boatload of ads in it, I didn't put those in. Uh, YouTube switched their ads and they have what's called mid-roll. So I've noticed if you watch a, um, a video, it's like all these ads show up. Let me know, I'm, I have to manually remove them because it was automated through the whole system and I didn't catch it. Uh, so now I have to personally set that. So if you get one, let me know, because it's really irritating to be, you know, in the middle of something and have an ad show up. Uh, I lose, I lose revenue from that, <laughs> and I don't mind, <laughs> so <laughs> that's my gift to you. I have one in the beginning, one at the end. Uh, you're amazing. You're amazing. Uh, let's just do our best. Let's stay in this present moment. This is what you're creating. That is your thought. That is what you are thinking right now. If you are struggling, that's what you're thinking in this present moment. Work on it. It's amazing. It's powerful. Come join me for my free workshop. This is for internet training. This is ways to create new revenue streams. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to ask you this question again. What are you holding back on? Because today is the only day that you have, and we don't know what tomorrow brings. As a collective, we're creating a lot of different things right now. And we as human beings can't possibly know. When you hold back on something, there are so many opportunities that you're missing to live your life in an amazing, amazing way. Go live it. I will never be able to go to New York and experience what I did last Thanksgiving quite the same way. It will never be the same again. There's so many times when we can't predict what's going to happen that will shift our reality into something different, much bigger, but our personal experience will change. What's holding you back? It would be fear. You can break through that. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.